start streaming, so we're just waiting for it to kick over to my stream. I'm gonna refresh. <laughs> Bless you. And it still says I'm hosting. Rabbit. Okay, wait, no, okay, here we go. Although it. Oh, shoot, I forgot to tell the thing to update the information. Let me do that real fast. There we go. Okay. All right, we are officially live. Ooh. I'm gonna start doing Link Bomb. We exist in a state of constant entropy. Is everyone ready for death? Yes. Woo. You can't kill me. That's not true. For he is God. I am the god of smut. <laughs> While there are still hope for any poets around, I shall never die. I shall exist eternal as the Lord of Toll. But, yes, DM, would you like to explain what's going on tonight? We're having a shorter session because, one, I have work later, and two, I'm super tired, and three, we didn't finish the content from the last session because RP took longer than expected. So, hooray. That's what's happening. Is everyone ready? Yeah. yeah. I am almost done with link bombing. I have a fluffy cat and I am ready. Okay, I just... Continue to belly flop and body roll in the background. Okay, I just need to... post the link to the Twitters real fast. Uh, so I see you've taken Moxman. As evident by the fact you can make a sniper rifle. Excuse me, wrist pistol, I see. <laughs> also, firearms are now their own class of items. They're not just they're not just counted under martial weapons anymore. <clears throat> Alright. <sighs> Tell me when you're ready, Danny. I believe I have done all the link bombing that I can. Alrighty then. <clears throat> Take a swig of water. Get some seep. Fill my, fill my tongue and throat reinflate with the missing moisture they previously didn't have. And let's do this. No proper session wrap up from last time, or session recap from last time, since we're technically not even done with that session. But previously, the party had found themselves finally starting to sail back to the mainland of Jezebeth. And though on their first day of travel, nearing the end of the Day, they encounter bits of a issue in that they were seen. Their, their boat was seen by Kingfisher, and try as they might, they could not naturally evade it easily. So they simply tried to shoot the Kingfisher out of the sky, and actually were successful. 
However, that would not stop the creature from attacking them in of itself. It simply prevented their boat from being utterly capsized. However, what did prevent the Kingfisher from attacking their boat was yet another Leviathan showing up and combating it. They later found out that said Leviathan was the very Madame Elway that they had decided to take into their charge. <laughs> Learning that, they all had a rather unrestful night of sleep and began their second day of travel back to the mainland. So what is everyone doing right now as I roll stuff in the background? Probably cooking breakfast. Alright. Um, Dravinche would take back up his position of doing dances to summon wind. At this point, no one's really questioning what you're doing, even though it's kind of weird. They saw its results. It, all they need to know is that it's making the boat move faster. Yeah. But this time, he's not going to be doing the worm. Yeah, give your poor nipples a rest. <laughs> oh, God, the splinters. It's a relatively I... well polished and waxed deck, so there's no real splinters to risk. That'd be really I... bad for both you and Dravinci, since I think both of you walk around barefoot, don't you? Yes. Oh. Think. Uh, Dravinci yes. has some form of shoes on. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. Fine, I guess. <clears throat> but it certainly would, it would be good for him to be bare-chested on the deck if it wasn't. Yeah. Anyways, so yeah. You're just doing your dance to make the ship continue to go faster, which is the reason why the travel time is cut down to three days rather than four. Keta is cooking, learning how to cook. Lee is mm -hmm. showing you how to make omelets. You don't know where he's getting the eggs, but he's showing you how to make omelets. I decided not to question it much. Probably for the best. <laughs> It hurts if I question things. It's probably for the best. <laughs> Alright. Uh, Mulligan, Mythosia, or <laughs> Brimstone. Yes, Mythosia. <laughs> he ain't doing much. <clears throat> Alright. Salesy. Oh, that was my microphone. I'll just talk uh, about everyone, don't worry. <laughs> All right, then. I'm going to be looking for a flare. All right, he'd be easy enough to find. He's just sort of sitting just sort of in his room or like off to the side of the deck just staring at people yeah after basically all night banging her head against the sentient dog the sentient robot she had a brainwave that oh yeah flair knows magical bullshit and and works with metal Flair, sweetie, mm -hmm. can you give me a hand? If you do not call me sweetie, that is fine. <laughs> Never call me that again. <laughs> fine. Uh, well, first, can you tell me what this does? She asks, holding out the, uh, what did I call it? Soul cog? The soul gear? Control gear. He'll look at it and give a brief flash of light as he casts the spell Identify. Hmm. It 
to some sort of magical component for something much larger, but aside from that, I do not know. Ah. Something appears to be actively blocking my vision. Well, isn't that interesting? Well, that's a mystery for later then. The actual thing I needed your help was, do you know how to work with delicate metal? I've done so before. Why do you ask? What do you need help with? Uh, one of those little robot doggies we have sitting in my room. I have, uh, need help getting, uh, repairing it. A cannon fell on him and broke two of his legs. Is it not a good thing that this is not in proper working order? Well, this little doohickey, she says, waving her control gear, makes him pretty docile, and I wanted to fix him and take him with. Hmm. Very well. We can do this then. I'll see what I can do. <clears throat> Thanks, sweetie, she says, and saunters off. Do not do that. <laughs> All right, so Flair will. <laughs> Flair will what? You cut out. Can you hear me now? Yes. yes. Flair will go to your room and see what he can do to fix the mechanical dog. Uh, meanwhile, Closure, or Brimstone, this is the first time you would have been given an opportunity to actually work on things. Is there anything you're working on? <sighs> That's a good question. I mean, is. I. I guess the first question would be is there adequate. Adequate materials for you to start making my own stuff, or do I have to modify what's already what I already have? Uh, you'd probably have to start working via modifications of things. Okay. Because yeah, there's not a whole lot of like. Yeah, there's, not a there's lot no of... forge down here. Yeah, and there's probably not a lot of free metal either. Yeah. Um. I, 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 I guess it would probably be more spent trying to figure out how to properly modify like a standard musket in order to fire further and with more punch i.e. making sense why from some mess that makes sniper rifles instead of just muskets <laughs> all right uh, since you're modifying a thing i would like you to make a crafting check uh tools tinker tools intelligence did you say secret tools tinkers tools with intelligence okay. tinkers tools intelligence yes God damn, okay, guess not. <laughs> yeah. Shit. Well what's that what is that roll? Four. Alright. So I'll say it like this. You don't break anything, but you don't make as much progress as you'd like to. Water's so. too damn choppy. Whenever I start getting into the into, yeah. in the, the, the intricates, it just it's fuck. God yeah. damn. Okay. Don't, sorry. Go. I was gonna say yeah, you definitely don't finish it, but you feel like if you kept working on it, you'd probably get this finished by the end of the trip. Okay. okay. So, 
That's you. Yeah. And Morgan, you said you weren't really doing anything right now? Uh, she's more or less just kind of... Uh, just chilling, I guess you could say. Like, helping out when she's asked to help out anywhere, but she's just kind of hanging out, more or less. So, more or less, just acting as another crew hand, as it were. Pretty much, yes. Alright. And yeah, not really much in the way to roll for that, you're just sort of helping around. Uh, I would like you to make a perception check as the day is sort of nearing its midway point, probably about 2 o'clock. Okay. Perception? Yep. 17. All right. uh, you would actually notice that in the distance, like in the distant sky, there's a couple of figures approaching the ship. Mm, she would point that out for sure. Uh, whoever looks like they have the most authority <laughs> that's closest to her. Kind of everyone at the same tier here, but fair enough. I'll just say you do point it out to another crew hand, and they continue to relay the message. Some of them do sort of look up, having been previous deckhands themselves, and just sort of... All right, everyone, get to battle station. That looks like a harpy raiding party. Oh boy, not another one. Okay, so do I need to roll anything to realize there's a there's a fight going on? Or else we'd be downstairs in a room with Blair. I mean, you're kind of just. You'd probably start to hear a bit of commotion on the deck of the ship. <sighs> the hell are those idiots doing now? Ethoja or Brimstone. I want to keep calling you Ethoja. I feel like that's your name. <laughs> I mean, okay. He died. <laughs> but okay. I'll, I'll I mean, play the dying remnant of a dead god. It happens. Don't break my heart more. That's fine. I'll, I'll just play <laughs> as a more knowledge player. That's fine. I'll just take the. I'll just take your heart and just put it in a blender. It'll be fine. Make a fine paste. Woo! Anyways, uh, Brimstone. Yeah, you probably hear the commotion as well. Does Keta, or is it a bit too loud in the kitchen? Uh, yeah, you'd hear it. <laughs> Like, Lee's not a loud cooker. But she probably, I was say, she probably is. Lee's I'm gonna go. organized when it comes to working in the kitchen. <laughs> Efficiency. Efficiency. Keta's probably just wearing her armor as just normal because she's afraid that she's gonna get attacked while on the boat. <laughs> Fair. Then again. <laughs> Lee's also been. So she's just gonna kind of set the things off to the side, tell Lee where she's going, grab her guitar, and go upstairs. I was gonna do the same to Flair. She's gonna go upstairs and see what the idiots are doing. Yeah, you'd all see more or less that there is a basically a flock of humanoid birds coming towards the ship. Just. just put down the rifle, grab the pistol, go up on deck. God damn it. <laughs> oh boy, more of them again. Alright, so everyone to battle positions as they are getting to the deck of the ship. 
I kind of want to pick up one of the long rifles and just shoot one before they even get close. You could. Uh, yeah. Brimstone would do that. Uh, just whenever one gets within the short range for 200 feet. Yeah, you... Or 800 feet. Yeah. <laughs> I think that'll hit. What did you roll? Yeah, 23. 23. Roll damage. Yeah. Wow. Fuck off. Minimum damage. If six is minimum damage, holy shit. It's on, it's on 2d12s, though. That's fair. Six is minimum damage, maximum damage is... 28? Yeah, 28 for me. Alright. Yeah, we're eternal. How do I make a roll initiative while I'm, I don't know, a token on the field? Just roll and I have to add you to the turn order. Okay. We are performing the lovely dance known as the Theater of the Mind. What? I wasn't good at theater. Well, too bad. You gotta learn. <laughs> actually, I was. <laughs> I actually like that class. That was actually kind of fun. I also used to do theater. <laughs> I... Uh, they just right. put me in it because I didn't have an elective. No, I was like, yeah, fuck it. I'll, I'll stick with it. It was actually kind of fun. Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, not good initiative on my part. That's fine. Yeah, it's not always going to be good. <laughs> I'm going to let it matter. <laughs> Jurid J always has one of those names that when I just look at it, I don't expect it to be pronounced the way it is. Yeah. That, that's because it. it's the Italian pronunciation. <laughs> Dravins. That would be far less impressive. <laughs> Drop it. it would be. I just revents here with slap chop. Oh no, Dravince will stab you! Run away! He'll hey. convince you to do something! <laughs> Who the fuck names their kid Dravins? <laughs> There's a man who who prowls around these streets. They call him Dravince. Sounds like a nerd. Initiative modifier. Plus one though. Between Failsy and Keta, Failsy would go first because even with the tiebreaker, Keta is a uh, three point fourteen. No, yeah, the drink is a uh, jack all trades. I'm not sure if that affects initiative. Uh, it does. She says she's got a 14, so and her initiative's three. Yeah, yeah it's 3.14. Yeah, yeah, it's jack of all trades, is why she has a three. Yeah. yeah. Because the initiative is technically a dex check that you don't have proficiency in. Yeah, and I'm just saying, because yeah. Failsy and I both I, got an 11. I, I know. I was just saying, I forget that that's a thing that happens. I don't right. have to explain myself. Brimstone. Uh, there is a flock of six harpies approaching the ship. Approximately how close, though? Uh, they're probably still about 100 feet out. I gotta grab another one. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna grab another one and fire that one. Alright. I will say that there are other people with guns on the ship's deck. They are okay. using some of those long rifles, since those are not just for you. Well, yeah, I know. It's more... One got a nat 20 and one got a hit. No, that's good. So is there still, yeah, is there still sick coming? 
Uh, we're gonna find out. Roll in that 20 results. Not a great roll, but it's still a decent chunk of damage. Okay. Um. Is there one that looks like the leader? Uh, for this raiding party, I actually do need to roll to see if this is a raiding party this matriarch. <laughs> or do they all look about the same? Uh, there is one. There is one harpy that does look a bit more threatening than the rest of them. Perfect. I'm gonna shoot at that one. All right then. All right. So I'm one gonna... harpy does take quite a bit of damage when it's flying in. I'm gonna spend my one grit point on a winging shot. All right. Okay. Nineteen. And you are shooting at the bigger harpy. Yes. Right, that will hit. Yeah. So it takes 19 piercing, and I need it to make a strength save. Alright. Strength save from this. Uh, that would be a 19 total on the saving throw. Fuck! Okay. Nothing happened. All right. So it still takes 19 damage, though. Uh, give me one second. I'm going to just... I hate having to do it this way, but it's how I honestly do have to just keep track of the HP. I'm just going to put some tokens down in the board corner of the screen so I can track HP. Yeah. Because I don't have my pen and paper next to me right now. The Harpies V five fall fum will destroy our land. Damn it. I was hoping it worked because then it would fall from. I am sorry, they did not they did not do Yeah, that. I know. It's fine. But again, I kind of just woke up not that long ago. Stone hit it with 19 points of damage. Yep. Ooh, pretty severe hit of damage right there. Unfortunately, I didn't knock it from, so it didn't fall. <laughs> uh, was your first shot against one of the? Was it against the matriarch, or was that just against one of the, the same one the other guy was shooting? Uh, it was, was against the the bear one. Okay, the first shot was also against the bigger one? Um, yeah, it would have been. Alright. And the three, and the two shots from the other guys were against this one. They have dex modifiers of plus two, so that's another plus four. Yeah, you see the two other, the other two that shot against another harpy pretty much almost... Darn near knock it out of the sky with their two shots. Mm. 
they deal 31 points of damage to a creature with 38 HP. <clears throat> yeah, those rifles hit pretty damn hard. Alright, but now it is the Harpy's turn. Yeah. They are all going to fly forwards. The five of these smaller Harpies just da <laughs> taking a dash action to get even closer to the boat. They're now within 20 feet of it. Meanwhile, the other one hangs back a little bit. And of course she does. It's only moving 40 feet close. And it begins to sing. Ha, ah, you bitch. Alright, I need everyone to make a wisdom saving throw. No! Every 14. Every person on the boat. I'm just gonna roll some group checks for them. Ah, I got an 11. Wisdom save? Yes. Yeah. Oh dear. I know it's a bit too late for this, but I don't... Could, um, cutting words work on this or not? No. Uh, this is a saving throw. This is not a cutting, cutting words are for attacks on the way. Well, it's attack ability check or damage roll. Oh, well, but this is a save. I'm just asking. Sorry. Gosh, I I just none of those things. Hey, hey, woo! No. Charm this time. I'm not being that loud for once. Yes, but your microphone is picking you up a lot better now, Andy. You're like at least two to three times as loud as you usually are. Sorry, I'm trying to be quiet at least. <laughs> well, you can't help that you've got a better quality mic. A good quality mic will. Yeah. I have sensitive ears when it comes to very loud noises. I, wow. I might have. Actually, only one group of the sailors failed this roll. They rolled really well. Uh, fails he didn't. <clears throat> Kata for once actually did. <laughs> Alright, Mortagon and Failsy failed as well as three of the sailors failed. Oh dear. Right. Oh boy. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> On your turns, you will move closer to the matriarch, and this does include leaving the ship. Fuck! I don't have counter turn. Fuck. Ah. No. Not yet. Not no. yet. However, before you would it, before it is now Morgan Morgan's turn. Before you would leave the edge of the ship, you do get a chance to roll the saving throw again. Okay. So do I roll again then? Yep. Yes. All right. Roll again as you start moving. That's 14. Right. As you're on, as you're literally getting ready to jump off the edge of the ship, you just come to suddenly. It's like, what am I doing? Just like, oh fuck you! <laughs> I'm assuming that resolves. That I'm assuming that is all of my turn then. <laughs> no, because it happened that way. That only used your movement. Oh, cool. Uh, is she close? Is she in Eldritch Blast range? What is the range of Eldritch Blast? 120. Then yes. Alright, she's gonna Eldritch Blast the bitch. Uh, there is five other harpies in the way, her. Okay, well then, she's Eldritch Blasting at the harpies in general, and if she hits one, great. <laughs> Alright. 21. Seven. I'm just gonna say you ping the one that was already damaged, so it drops it entirely. It's Alrighty. The ocean. <laughs> the like free action. She's just flipping the bird. <laughs> flipping the bird at the birds. Ye. <laughs> All right. Filthy. I assume Morgan, you were done with your turn. Yes. Okay. You failed, so you move closer towards the edge of the ship. Go ahead and make a saving throw as you would now currently be about to jump off the edge. Alright, let's see if the rolls fuck me over now. Oh no, yay! Just like Motogun, right as you're stepping over the edge, probably as you're straddling the rail, you realize, what am I doing? 
This is a bad. This is not the time and place for this. <laughs> oh fuck! Yeah, so you've regained your senses enough to be able to take your actions this turn, but that's about it. So uh, yeah, she's going to blast away as well with chaos bolt. Chaos bolt. Let's see if it rolls a one. So well, luckily, uh, there are no enemies in the way, or no allies in the way. Yeah. All right. Did your chaos bolt roll? Uh, just not yet. Yet. Not yet, because I'm also going to twin spell this. Ooh. Oh fuck! So a twin spell just chaos find bolt the... basically generate two balls instead of one. Yeah, basically, she sort of puts her hands together, makes one, and then rips the spell in half. Nice. I love that flavor text for that. Alright, so you do have to make two attack rolls still? Yeah, I was just trying to find the button that. Yep. So, first Chaos Bolt. There's a Are 13. The normal. This would be like the hoppy, I guess, what's it, what it is in front of her. Okay, so yeah, that would hit the harpies. Uh, first damage roll, where was my damage roll? Oh, wait. Five or one, that's. Where's my chaos ball? Damage results. So, a streak of lightning? <laughs> Forest and blues. One chaos bolt flies out and tases a harpy. What does the other chaos bolt do? Fifteen. Alright, fifteen's gonna hit. Uh, well, that's it. Four or right. six. One or a six. Do -do -do. Really? I'm saying four or eight. Two D eights. Up. Four eight. So mm. thunder or? I mean, thunder and lightning. Yeah, thunder. <laughs> Drive <Giant> sonic boom. <laughs> yeah. So, so thunder and lightning, you very very frightening. Your hand, you still throw them at the same time. They both start off as lightning, but the lightning races towards one of them, and then there's just a thunderous explosion that comes off of it and hits another. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Twin spells, ridiculous. <laughs> and they do seem fairly winged by these attacks. Uh, also, I believe you have a, a surge coming towards you, Balesy. Oh, goody. Fuck. <laughs> Go ahead and roll that for me. Uh, that's a d6, then a d20? No, that's a d20 and then a d100. Ah. Uh, that's a 17. Alright. You're so lucky yeah. that you always roll, like, just the inconvenience table. Alright. Oh. That's a d100. roll. <laughs> There's multiple. Yeah, it's arranged in extreme, moderate nuisance. What happened to all the beneficial ones? No, it's just the amount of effect they have on the character. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay, gotcha. So, the okay, it's basically... One, the ultimate okay. one is the fireball that explodes on top of you. Okay, so it's, it's, it's basically minor meddling major, and then could be good or bad. 65? 65. Oh, this one's this one really is a nuisance. Oh goody. For the next day, everything you say must rhyme. If it doesn't, you take 1d6 psychic damage. Oh <laughs> fuck. Oh <laughs> I I would presume Failsy is made immediately aware of this effect, or no. You're suddenly overcome with the urge to rhyme or die. Okay, so yes. That's gonna be fun. 
I'm gonna start practicing them them limericks. <laughs> it's your turn. All right. Am I within sixty feet of the matriarch? Uh, no. The matriarch is eighty feet out. All right. Just I right. don't think I can use my movement to get closer towards the edge of the ship. Even still, that would only grant you like another. 15 feet, so she'd still be 5 feet out. It seems she's purposely trying to stay out of range. She heard what happened to the last matriarch. Um... I don't... I can't... I can't do the thing that allowed me to fly! <laughs> you could do it. It's just everyone would... Everyone would know, then! <laughs> you're, you're not I think wrong. the whole... I think the whole point of it is at least to try to keep somewhat quiet about it. <laughs> I mean, it's up to you. You want to be quiet about it? You want to be loud about it? <laughs> we also don't know what happens if she goes unconscious while in that one. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, so, for right now, unfortunately... Uh, wait, are any of the... Blank. Oh, I mean, would that get me within 60 feet of it? Oops. I give you probably the extra five feet you'd need. Why'd you pop sure. Ah, uh, because I'll, I was trying I'll, to close it. Oh, okay. I'll walk. Click I'll go the on the plank. Alright, so yeah. Uh, and the... Uh, position, but you are now within range. And, and everybody here is kept to let out the most ear-piercing shriek you would ever conceive to come out of that tiny of a body, and she's gonna cast Shatter. Um, Alright. <laughs> so this will only hit the Matriarch. Yeah, because I believe since it's in a 10-foot radius... Yeah, sir? The other ones are within 20 feet of the ship, flying in a crowd towards you. The Matriarch yeah. is going to keep back. Alright. So she needs to make a constitution save or take 17 points damage. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's see, what is her mod? It's not negative, so she succeeds. <laughs> so she takes half? Yeah. Yeah. Alright. So half of 17. Give me one second. So it's nine. Am I kind of stuck out on the plank now? Yes. Okay, so uh, I believe I can inspire as a bonus action. You can. It's gonna yell over her shoulder, Bravestone, hit this bitch! Sure, you would be much obliged to. Yes. So Bravestone now has a d6 of inspiration. Yeah. No more accents. But that is my turn then, because I can't do my chills now that I'm stuck out on the plank. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck. I I just can't think of anything to to do. Throwing your knives, she'll definitely get them back. Definitely, right? <laughs> well, that's the thing is, I don't want to be doing any spell, th spell things, uh, but the only other ranged option I have is to grab a long rifle and shoot it basically point blank. It's Which for, there's still one free on the deck. Yeah, one that I haven't got to yet. <laughs> or, there's currently, three, three, miss, there's currently miss three sailors currently just sort of walking towards the edge of the deck with them in hand. Oh, yeah. Or, could just go bitch slap them. <laughs> are they on a side with cannons? Um... 
a good question. All of your guys' cans are currently on one side of the ship. Yeah. Not there, um, hi. Unfortunately, no. The, all the cannons are facing the opposite direction still. Damn it. Damn it. <laughs> we can launch Da Vinci at the Matriarch. <laughs> I'm coming. I was just you. thinking, uh. <laughs> and, then have El and then have Elway grab him and bring him back. I, I was more thinking, uh, you know what? Have you ever seen a bird get hit with the fastball? No, I know, I know. It's just that would be funny. Drew Vinci would just fucking short swords <laughs> out. Just, just a yeah. poof of feathers. Yeah. Uh... You want to know how to defeather a bird? Hit it with a ball moving at 90 miles an hour. <laughs> You could just hold your action until some get closer. There are some within 20 feet of the ship, by the way. Yeah. Yeah, that's which still, is... That's in, still not within shank range. That's in, within dagger range. But if you miss, then you lose it. You can get daggers much more easily than you can get a magic sword, probably. All right. Well, what are you doing, Javinche? We can't keep. We can't stop this for too long. I I know, I know, I know. Uh, Javinche is gonna kind of run up to the side and ready to stab a harpy when she when they get close. All right. So you ready? Action! Attack if something gets in range. Yes. All right. Round counter one. Rolling for the guys again to see if they try not to die as they fall into the water. So three of your crewmates jump over the edge of the ship. <sighs> um, how high is the side of the ship? Probably about. Hmm, this isn't. This is not the biggest ship, so probably about. 10 feet off from the water. Okay, so it's... You just hear... Yeah, I mean, it's a survivable fall. It's just a matter of we don't know what's in the water. Or, or if they have a compulsion to drown themselves. No, they have the compulsion to get closer to the matriarch. Yeah, so they'll yeah. at least be swimming. Okay, but I don't know that. I can I can assume that based on what Morgan and Fails he did, but... All I know is that they were compelled to jump off the edge. <laughs> yeah. Alright, that's their turn. Brimstone, we're back around to you. Okay. I left a gun for you. Yeah, I know. It's just a matter of... Yeah, I might as well use it. I have one of the. I can't do something. Actually, then um, well, no, actually, no. it would have been the deckhand's turn. Yeah, this. yeah, they would have grabbed it. Going to run up and start reloading the rifle that you're not holding, and basically holding it out to you. <laughs> I like, like him. I keep missing. <sighs> <laughs> you don't. You see what okay. I'm doing? Sounds good. All right, then I'm just going to take that one up and uh, fire at the matriarch again. That's going to hit. Okay, oh, I, get my oh. grip point. I get my grip point back. Fuck yeah. You got a grip point back. Ooh. Ooh. Oh! <laughs> oh, that's some nice crispy damage. That's darn near Pop goes damage. the bird. <laughs> I mean, maybe. Probably, it might still be still be flapping about out there. Hey, right, you could so. you didn't even need inspiration. I know. <laughs> it's it's the inspiration is what gave him the critical hit. Yeah, yeah, there we go. <laughs> All right, so that was a rather sundering blow as this thing actually drops a few feet towards the towards the ground. <laughs> I. I is it still singing, or does it just do the do the song and then stop? 
Uh, I'm going to say that with that amount of damage, it stops. Okay, yeah, so basically it doesn't have to. Yeah, okay, but yeah, basically just flavoring is just like shoot it in the throat. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, it's not dead, but certainly got its attention. Good. Come at me, bitch. Okay, um... Wait, do you have anything else you want to do on your turn? No, I don't really have anything I can do as a bonus action. Alright. And, uh... I probably want to stay where I am, approximately. There's not really much maneuver, much room to maneuver around on this ship. Alright, but... Not the other moving. harpies are going to fly forwards. Uh, one of them is going to stick back while the three of them fly forward to do sweeping attacks at you guys, so okay. I'm going to say this would be your opportunity to get a swing off at one. Okay. Swinging. That's going to hit. Does Keta get a hit? Uh, it's a approach. Hey, uh, just attack opportunity. No, unless they have flyby. They do not have flyby, but uh, we'll see they, how it goes. Yeah, they also might not sweep close enough to actually be stabbed. Well, and that's why I'm asking. Ones is mm -hmm. back. All right, so it's going to be, let's say these attacks are going to go, since one was flying by you, Trevenche, one is going to go against you. That's going to be with its... Claw and club attack, which does a 13 hit you? Nope. All right, so it misses with the club, and it misses with the claw. <laughs> oh, I thought you said Mr. Club. <laughs> I also do need to know if anyone's going to hit me for cutting words. All right. Since you are out on the gangplank, one of them is going to go towards you. Yeah, so I'm going to kind of put my hand at it and go... God, you cut yourself a bird, you look like a drowned rat. Alright. Fortunately, cutting words does not work against a natural 20. <laughs> I was going to say, if they're doing two attacks, then I can at least do it on one of them. You do stop one of their attacks. You stop the claw attack, but do not stop the club attack. Uh, I mean, are you sure? Because I still have to roll the d6. It's a natural 20. It can't okay. miss. Oh, no, I was talking about the other attack that you said it, I prevented. If you roll a one, it would miss you. All right. Well, I didn't know. Well, that's why I was saying it already missed you. All right. Is that the math dice? <laughs> math rock rolling. The math rock rolling. It would have been a 14, so I think if you even rolled anything, I think that messes you normally anyways. Yeah, that, that's my AC normally, so even if I roll the one, it would have missed. Yeah. I was right. Yay. Uh, so that's going to be eight points of damage as it as it manages to miss you with the claws, but then whacks you with a club. No, they whacks you with Mr. Club. That is going to try to fly away from you. So now do I get an attack on it? You use cutting words, so no. Oh yeah, sorry. And then I'm going to say the other one goes, is going to go against... Morgan, since you blasted with them with an Eldritch Blast before. I thought I dropped that one. <laughs> you still shot an Eldritch Blast at them. Fair enough. Um, it's going to be a 9 to hit and a 19 to hit. 9 does not, 19 does. Alright, so claw miss, club hits. Bonk. It's be 1d4 plus 1 damage. <laughs> so it's going to be 5 damage. Roll the 4. And it's going to fly away from you. Can I take an opportunity attack on it? Yes. yes these do not have flyby. Okay. That is going to hit. Nine slashing. Ooh, nice, nice. And the one that stayed back is going to begin singing. Did everyone take a wisdom saving throw? You absolute bitch. Fuck. Ten. Bye, guys! <laughs> oh, fuck. God 
Fuck. Damn it, you guys! <laughs> Alright, so all the sailors succeeded this time. And Brimstone. All right. I succeeded uh, the first time. I can, can't do it the second time. Wait, no. I'm going to do a uh, dominate, dominate fate. Yeah, yeah, you did get that back. <laughs> yeah, you can dominate fate. You have that back. I think. How many times is that that Fancy has rolled double nat ones? Is that three? She's good at doubles. Yeah. All right. Go ahead and roll your third d20 and see if you can get away from this. Uh, right, I need to give my dice roll back up. Seven that's plus a, one, eight. That's a d10. That's a d10? That's I a d10. Roll rolled again. Oh, I rolled the wrong, wrong thing. <laughs> d20. Roll it. That's uh, worse. <laughs> so, Not all good. right. Only mytho only Brimstone and only Dervinche succeed. Oh, Dervinche succeeds by the skin of his teeth. Oh. The normal Harpies only have a DC of 11. No, that's fair. So you all are immune to specifically this Harpies that I'm now going to put a red token on. This Harpy song. Everyone else Where did you are you magically put... compulsed to move towards it. They're in the corner, one of the corners somewhere. I don't see them anywhere. Bottom of the ladder. ladder. At the bottom. Oh. I just have them down in the corner so I can keep track of their HP. Yeah. I just looked in the bottom. I don't see them. They are down. All the way at the bottom. Oh, that's the bottom left, not the bottom right. <laughs> I, bottom I said right. bottom left, did I? I don't know. It doesn't matter. Uh, Alright. So you guys... You really want to get to that harpy. It's currently 20 feet in the air off the side of the boat. <laughs> Meanwhile, the matriarch, having been shot in the throat, is going to look at you. Go at me, bitch. And is going to fly forwards. And it's... I need you to make another wisdom saving throw. <sighs> Fuck up. Oh, wow. Okay. You got lucky. Yeah. Fuck off. Yep. You meant to just succeed without <laughs> yeah. preparation. I know. <laughs> so, yeah. You start to see vis visages in your mind of your wife looking at you. And you managed to shake it off just like, she's, she's dead. <laughs> <laughs> just, just staring at the heartbeat. Just, oh, you're gonna die now. <laughs> As it attempted to use visages of desire against you. Actually, that technically affects everyone in the radius. So <laughs> everyone needs to do that. As you all are filled with visages of what you desire most in the world. Didn't uh, I already fail the previous uh, save though? Well, I think this is a different effect. Huh? This would technically override that, because this is not a charmed effect. Oh, okay. Yeah, and I, I think that was a different effect. Thirteen. I think that, yeah, the singing, I think, is a different effect than this. Yeah. Twelve. All Jesus right, Christ, man. Right. Uh, you all have disadvantage on these, by the way. Okay, so... All oh, of this... Yes. Or of the harpy matriarch oh. Uh, oh. alluring maestro you have disadvantage oh. against the harpy when it comes to saving throws but except for Brim brimstone and dervinche then no you still have disadvantage it's if you're within 60 feet of it god power. damn it i oh, want okay. power Fuck. so we all fail oh no catch him catch him Keta, said Keta succeeds, but everyone but Keta, you are suddenly locked in place as you are filled with Visage of Desire. So now here's the fun part. Mythosia, or Brimstone rather. I assumed it would be his wife, but is that what he desires most in this world? Fuck no. <laughs> oh. Gun. No, not gun. His desire is his dad to be dead. To... 
<laughs> well, this is supposed to oh. be. Oh, okay. Uh, alluring de desire. Not okay. Okay. Oh, desire. Desire. Okay. De okay. Desire of attraction, not desire of revenge. Um. These are yeah. Yeah. All right. What would Travinche see? Uh, okay. Hmm. If not, I can just provide something. No, he. <laughs> it would be multiple different people of of his past, different. Girls he's been with, including his mentor. That's terrifying. Of course. <laughs> you didn't fail, though, Keta. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, so... Brimstone sees his wife. Dravinche sees an orgy waiting to happen. What does Mortagon see? Same thing as Shrevenche. <laughs> Somehow you both are seeing the exact same vision, just like, dig it. Yeah. <laughs> Failsy. Just so many. <laughs> no, maybe. It's, it's just like a spawn of pure stuff with, with a snake. <laughs> Alright, what does Failsy see? Probably a similar kind of orgy, though there'd be like a ritual in the middle of it. Uh, but snakes. <laughs> you basically just see a picture of home, then. So, so that's three people with where theirs is orgy. Yeah. <laughs> just a lot of orgies going on. Pretty much. All right, and also you all drop your weapons. Is that There's a clang of wood. You are holding. Glad Which for my class you? then. <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, it's fine for you. Question. you just... go I was going to say, I have a question about mine, because technically Keta uses her guitar as a weapon, but that has a strap around her, so does well, it just kind of fall off to the side? Well, you're, you're not affected by it, yeah. Yeah. It's on. It's everybody who fails drops their weapon. You're fine. I'm still All trying. Right. <laughs> well, yeah, but this is a different attack. Yeah, this isn't a charm effect. This is a paralysis yeah. effect. You're yeah, paralyzed. It, it, you are charmed by the heartbeat. The rest of us are paralyzed by the matrix. Can I still talk? No, you're paralyzed. Yeah, you're paralyzed. Damn it. At least this happened at the end of the turn, not before the heartbeat's attacked. Yeah. And a considerable number of the crew members are locked up. Alright, Morgan, you are paralyzed for this turn. So luckily you can't move towards the end of the ship. Yeah, am I able to make a save or anything to try to break out of this? Uh, you can make a save to break out of the charm effect, but the paralyzation just wears off at the end of your turn. Okay. okay. So, can I- I guess I just make a, a wisdom save then? Wisdom. Yeah. Ah, fuck! You are still charmed, but luckily you can make no action this turn. <laughs> yeah, you can't go over the side because you're not charmed. Right. I don't believe Felsy was You're charmed, right. was she? Felsy was charmed oh, because she not won. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was tried super hard, but you didn't quite succeed. On the yeah, on was... the charmed one, I rolled a ten before, so I'm charmed. So bleh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So Felsy, go ahead and roll me a saving throw against the wisdoms. That's uh, another nat one. Uh, I have a question. What? So, given that. Uh... Morgon had two effects on her, charmed and paralysis. Does she make two wisdom saves? No, because the, the, the paralysis, paralysis wears off at the end of turn. Okay. So it's just once once your turn is over, you are no longer paralyzed, but you are still charmed. Alright, so Filzy is still charmed, but not no longer paralysis, Vistas. And I can't make and I can't talk, damn. No, no. You're, you're not paralyzed anymore. You can talk now. At least at the end. I thought it was at the end of my turn. Up when you notice the yeah, it, for a second. You, you can't cast a spell, if that's what you're asking. Uh, I wasn't you talk. No, I want to talk without rhyming. Oh. 
blow my own head off with psychic damage. Uh, that would be bad for you. Also, it's a shock out of charm. That does not work. That doesn't really. That's specific charms that can be counteracted like that. Taking damage does not knock you out of a charm normally. Oh. Yeah, it's specific I was, well, that's, that's what we knocked Keter out of there. Well. So, no, I think that was a concentration thing that you knocked it out by attacking the I, thing before. I don't remember that. Anyway. Anyways, uh, if I pass my... I was going to say... Do I make the save before I move or after? It is at the end of your turn. So, you, so I have to fall know. into water. <laughs> uh, no, because you're moving into a terrain which would technically be considered dangerous. You get to immediately make a saving throw. All right, that that, that was what I was trying to ask then. Yep. And then you have to make one at the end of your turn. 18. 18 will succeed. You managed to... Even though you would have had disadvantage with the roll, it's still an 18. You yeah. Like, huh. Huh. I'm awake. Oh, okay. It depends on the roll. It's a All right. Right the All right. Um, do I have my action? Yes, because that took your movement to do. All right. I'm going to use my action because, fuck it, at this point, it's kind of needed. She's going to unleash uh, Sublucius for him. All right. A bunch of the sailors are currently paralysis on the deck anyway, so they can't really look. All right. Um... <laughs> so Keta unleashes the rules of nature. <laughs> the rules of nature! Sure. And with a kind of... Uh, nothing is, it was, is in with damage dealing range of me. God damn it. Well, there are th a bunch of harpies currently within 20 feet of the boat, and then a matriarch within 30 feet of the boat. But I can't do that unless I attack. Yeah, yes. you just use your action. Yeah. And I don't have the rest of my movement, so that's kind of technically Actually, my... If you were already standing on the edge of the ship, you wouldn't have had to move. Alright. Because you were standing on the plank. Yeah. So, it, it was just the, as I was going to take that step out, I was like, oh, I'm awake now. <laughs> just like, this is a bad idea. I should stop. Alright. Uh, Rules of nature! <laughs> so, actually, then, I have my movement. Yes. I'm going to use 30 feet to get my ass towards the matriarch, then. So you take to the air and fly within melee range of the matriarch. It seems confused and alarmed. And can I do a dagger attack as a bone, like a like an offhand dagger as a bonus action? You, you have to attack to do all no, because you didn't attack as part of your main action. All right, just after. All right, so I'm good then. All right, I'm sorry. That's just how it works. No, no, it's okay. I'm just trying to figure out how to make this work. You're within punching range of the harpy. All right, <laughs> that, that's all I need. Were you charmed? Javinci, no. Javinci, you are not charmed, so just the paralysis wears off at the end of your turn. And I can't really do anything, so, yep, that's my turn. You have a reaction whenever the harpies start doing their swoopy attacks again. But I have no weapons. Alright, and then a bunch of the crew members become un, un paralysis now. The ones that were that had fallen previously off the side of the boat start climbing up the ladders to get back on the boat. Because luckily, Brimstone's shot to the throat off the matriarch from continuing to charm them. Speaking of Brimstone, it's your turn again, boy. No, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. <laughs> Paralysis was off at the end of the turn. That's it. Oh, that's right. You were paralyzed as well. Mm. <laughs> Yeah, it is, but it isn't. <laughs> All right, harpy time. Yeah, it isn't my turn. Well, yes, but actually no. <laughs> well, yes, but no. Yeah. Uh, Keta, the harpy against you is going to start trying to club you. Do what? Going to claw and club you. Ah, okay. It don't like you close. It's going to be a... Getting its attack modifier, because I have to. 
Oh, wait, no, this one only follows you. So that's gonna be a 16 to hit? Okay, and then I'm gonna use my reaction to inflict fire damage on it. Uh, okay. Due to the Searing Soul ability. Yes. Is that with the uh, Hellish Rebuke? No, it's additionally whenever a creature strikes you with a melee attack, you can use your reaction to inflict radiant or fire damage to the attacker up to your, up equal to half your level rounded up. All right. So, how so much that's that? it'd two. be two. <laughs> two fire damage. Yes. You burn it a little bit as it slashes into you, but it's going to be a sixteen to hit and a twenty-four to hit. I thought it could only claw at me. It... Yes, oh, yeah. Sorry, I'm a dumbass. Okay. Oh, Keta has health points. Yeah, a... Bye bye, guys. <laughs> As Keta takes. She's probably unconscious. Huh? As you get clawed out and take 33 points of slashing. Oh, Holy shit. Yeah, no. Bye, fuck. guys. Bye, guys. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> this was fun. And this was fun. You guys were intended to fight this at a distance. <laughs> so there's a momentary. We tried. With, there's a momentary <laughs> confusion with it as this black, like, cloudy monstrosity starts flying at it and it's like ah it just starts scratching at it and knocks it out of the air and you guys see Keta reform as Keta and fall into the water. Bye guys <laughs> and then another sploosh later a second later. Anyways what was wrong with that was a second <laughs> All right, so this one is no longer singing since its charmed effect was, that was it. So anyone who's previously charmed is no longer charmed because it's going to just take its turn to attack. All right, okay, four swooping it. attacks. Got to do two against Brimstone because he seems like the biggest threat. Yeah. 16 AC. All right. All right, so you got clubbed with a natural 20 and otherwise everything misses. So you take 2d4 damage plus 2. Or 2d4 damage plus 1. So 5 damage and otherwise they both miss you. Okay. You get bound on the head. And... All right, and then a club. Then basically there's going to be a club and a... A claw attack at both Dravinche and Morgan. Oh no. Alright, uh. Dravinche or Morgan first? I said Dravinche first, so. Uh. Dravinche, they horribly miss you. Yay! Attacks, they try to fly away. Uh. Morgan, you do get hit with one club attack, though. Uh, do, do, do the two that attack me fall so Yeah, they do fly away. Okay. I don't know if you have so, any, like, reaction to it. No. Um, can I technically attack with oppor- Yes. Do an attack of opportunity because oh. I've got daggers at the ready? I have a dagger bracer on my arm. Yes, I said you could. Okay. I didn't hear you. Against a normal harpy, I think an 11 will actually hit. Ooh. Yeah, it will. Oh, wait. Scratch that point. I lost it because of being paralyzed. Yep, you couldn't keep the momentum up. Uh, Morgan, you can also make an opportunity attack. Okay, I'm assuming because of how Hexblade worked, the Moonlit Aria is back in her hand then? Or... Yeah. Oh, it is? I mean, even... I will say because of how that specific blade works, it more or less fell point down to the deck, so you could immediately just grab and slash with it again. Okay. It would have been an issue if you had walked away from it, but you didn't. Okay. Alright, so yeah, you managed to hit them. First seven. Nice, nice. 
And you said I got hit by one attack. How much damage did I take? It took, it dealed four damage. Okay. And it is your turn again. Uh... Okay, Morgan's not the most intelligent woman, and she wants to help Ketta. She's going to dive overboard to save Ketta. Okay. And I'm aware I'll probably take opportunity attacks. Uh, Didn't everybody uh, hear the sploosh? Yeah, everybody would have heard a second sploosh after Ketta hit the water. You're not really sure what it was, but you heard another one. And I, she, I would assume she doesn't see Ketta, so she's assuming the worst. Okay. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, actually, to make you not waste your turn, make a perception check right, as you get to the edge. Okay. I just don't want anybody to die because of me. <laughs> well, I, I Seven. Don't think, don't think the second one is a malicious It's not push. hard to see that there is something green in the water surface. Yeah. And a bunch of splintered wood? You're not sure what happened. Wait, what do you mean green? Ketz is pink. Yeah. We. Ketz is pink. But... Oh. Yeah, the second There's splash. green rapidly approaching Ketta from the boat. And also yes. a bunch of splintered wood at the side of the boat. He, he, he literally hulked out of the boat. <laughs> okay, so we're probably just like infernal saying something along like, Lee, you magnificent bastard. <laughs> and... He's a very strong boy. Go, it's like just wheeling back around and slashing at the nearest harpy. Then, all right. Uh, be more at Eldritch Blast range at this point. Okay, well then, Eldritch Blasting. Yep. Nineteen. That's all right, nine. Drop one of them. All righty. Yeah, that was, that was another occasion of me making a very low intelligence roll and a very high strength roll for Lee. <laughs> <laughs> it was like an 8 total intelligence roll and then a nat 20 strength roll. God, you're fucking rolling those 20s today. He has a weird habit of rolling natural 20s on strength yeah. checks. Well, no, but you've also rolled like... I've also... I've been rolling a lot of dice this time. Guys. Yeah, that's true. Anytime the crew members have to roll for something, it's 5d5... or 5d20s. 5d5s. 5d5, yeah. All right, totally. Okay. Uh, guess it's a perception check first to make sure she doesn't she sees Lee. Because I think yeah. she, she was also planning to do that as well. Perception. You see him. He's not hard to see. He has a really bad stealth score. <laughs> the DC is one. <laughs> the DC is five. Because he's making no effort to hide himself. <laughs> but, I mean, I, I guess at that point, would there even need to do a check to be made or just look over the side? Oh, there's Lee. <laughs> More or less. That's why I was just like, you would notice. Mm -hmm. You make Stop it for the. Stop destroying my ship, you little shit! <laughs> Your ship? She's like claim to the ship. Yeah, I know. Just thought I now there's a bad hole in it. It's fine. There's a hole in the other side as well. It's fine. Actually, no, that, no that's the same side. Okay, but... Yeah, it is the same side. <laughs> okay, but bigger problem, Harpy's still living. Yes, Harpy's still living. That was living. a free action. I know. That was her noticing that there's a second hole in the side of the ship. <laughs> I know, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Now she's pissed and... and just saying, if we need to make this who, session, then... Who is it with with this. For some like that, Lee's almost swimming like a fish. It's kind of impressive. Uh, who's closest and would like a ranged attack? Uh, all of them are about the same distance. I mean, allies. Oh, um... Probably Morrigan or Brimstone. I mean, if it's as... Is it elemental breath? Because... Yes. Don't. don't. And that would probably Morrigan. My guns have a higher range. Yeah. 
Mora has got her own ranged. Um, so so maybe get first. <laughs> or yourself. I have my own ranged attack. There's all the crew yeah. members. I, I don't have ranged. Yeah, Da Vinci. You could help Da Vinci. Like, I'm gonna run off, run up to Da Vinci. He'd basically be right it's next like, to you, so. It's like, yeah, just pat him on the shoulder, like, blow really hard and put on a show. <laughs> before, uh, before. <laughs> well, cast I'm used her. to that. You also feel a crackling sensation in your mouth. Yeah, lightning. Lightning breath. <laughs> well, this time it'll be different. All right, that was your turn. Uh, no, because that was my bonus action. All right, what's your action? Twin, tw uh, another twin spell of Chaos Bolt. All right, go ahead. And uh, do that. Two of them. Question. Yes. Did that rhyme? I yes. Don't... I was not paying blow, attention. Blow and show. Yeah, I did. Yeah, there you go. It rhymes. Okay. I'll allow it. Uh, where is it? There it is. All right, so what's your verbal? That's for that. Your and that was. Nah, I'm not going to make you worry about that. Well, yeah, it's more just a matter of formality, I think. And Chaos Bolt. All right, give us two Chaos Bolt rolls. 16. Damage. They have four. Ooh. All right, 16 will hit. Damage four. Bad damage, but still damage. Uh, and, and the two that you needed for it to jump didn't get it. Acid. There's a some minor acid, and the second one nine. That is unfortunately gonna miss. Damn. And due to something I rolled off screen, I need you to roll one d twenty and one d one hundred. Oh no. One d twenty nine. Okay. Okay. And this is going to probably explode us all. Maybe. Uh, Maybe it'll be nice. <laughs> Twenty-five. You are protected from plants for one hour. Such creatures cannot attack you or harm you unless they succeed on a charisma saving throw equal to your spell save DC. You are protected from plants. <laughs> You not you suddenly you... feel like you suddenly feel like you're an herbicide. Yeah. <laughs> Either it fails, or just like slight flames begin to flicker <laughs> off of her. Does that cancel out the rhyming thing? No, no. Oh, <laughs> you can literally have as many of these effects hit mm -hmm. on you at one time as possible. Oh, make sure I put my dominate fate back up one in case I need to try and save myself from a roll and fail it again. Uh, Ketcha, make a death saving throw. All right, give me a second. While, while drowning. <laughs> Should I roll up a cleric next? Well, Maybe she's not she's dead, dead yet. Yeah. That's a failure. She's in the process of dying. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> I, mean, I just need maybe, two more. I mean, he's a bard. He has healing word, presumably. He <laughs> or he just... Or he just stuffs a pom pom in your face, or a fucking, you know, sweet bun in your face. That's my turn. I know you're unconscious and died, but eat this. <laughs> All right. Bit of You now have elemental breath. Well, are any of the harpies within 15 feet? You could walk onto the gangplank and be within 15 feet of all of them. Oh, oh, fuck. Perfect. Uh, just... <clears throat> just kind of somersault onto the gangplank and oh, do wow. a wide sweeping breath. Every harpy in a 15-foot cone must make a dexterity saving throw against Failsy's D save DC. What is DC 14. Uh, my 14. save DC is... 
spells. Yeah, 14. <clears throat> All right, so Harpy's in order. 3d6. All right, so first Nano one takes fail full damage. Oh, yes. First one takes full damage. Knocks it down pretty low. Second two take half damage, so they take five, because I'm going to round up for the sake of it. Okay. Then the Harpy Matriarch fails. Boo! And is looking very badly hurt. It's still just barely holding on. <laughs> Good. Okay. Um, Keta, you suddenly come to, uh, feeling yourself being dragged through the water. You just see a green butt in your face. <laughs> or more like a green back and then just a butt that actually now has pants on in your face. Yes, a well-formed ass. <laughs> It is, it is well formed. As I'm going okay. to roll his turn. All Ketchik can think of is, uh, is like, am I dead? Is this heaven? <laughs> Very no, wait, much no, like... he's wearing pants, so no. It's Teddy Bear clutching the guitar. <laughs> Yeah, that shit's really important. Like onto Lee's back. <laughs> gonna upcast that. So that's gonna be 17 points or 19 points of HP back. Oh shit! <laughs> Look, he panicked. <laughs> so like, gotta, gotta wake up! Gotta wake up! Just... <laughs> Remember, he, he doesn't have to get. He doesn't realize he's casting magic, so he doesn't know how to control how powerful it is. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just like slapping you and like swimming at the same time, and he's still moving like a fish in the water, so it's really impressive, and you don't know how he's doing it. I'm like... Good! <laughs> um, did, did my buddy reload my gun? Yeah, that's it's basically all he's doing. Good. Good. I'm uh, I'm gonna spend my crit point for advantage and try to shoot the bitch again. All right. Fifteen. That's gonna hit. Okay, good. Fifteen. She is dead as you shoot her in the head. Good. Out of the water. Keta, you see, because you're facing behind you, the the harpy matriarch, now without the top of her head, fall into the water behind you. And I have to actually make a wisdom saving. Is there a matriarch? Is there? Well, they've been disheartened. Good. On their turn, they are going to turn and flee. Because their matriarch has just been killed. Do we get to make opportunity attacks? They are not close enough, unfortunately. Yeah. Not even for they're, an Eldritch Blast like, one? You don't have that as an ability, I'm sorry. Fair enough. As they're, That's a as they're flying thing. away, you guys could continue to ping them. <laughs> yes. But for, the sake, but for the sake of this, turn is yeah. done. Fair enough. Do, how does Ketch and Lee get back on the boat? Uh, Lee is going to the rope ladder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah just... <laughs> Ladder's off the side, and if that doesn't work, I mean, we do have that way. <laughs> well, there's also the hole he made in the side of the ship. Well, that's probably we'll higher up there. I'll fix that later. <laughs> so yeah, those of you who weren't aware of it when you saw Kenna just drop into the water, you were concerned. And now you just see Lee coming up, up the rope ladder, which you didn't see him leave the ship at all. And just climbing up the side of the ship with Keta over his shoulder. 
is the front is her front half over his shoulder or is it the back half? You're dangling over his back. He's like got your legs on his chest. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm alive. <laughs> yeah, he sets you back on the deck. Cough up some seawater. <laughs> Pretty much. Are you okay? <laughs> I, I just picture at this point, <laughs> even if they're past the range where you can actually hit them, Brimstone is still shooting at them. I fell in water and it hurt. I went from smoke to not smoke. And the last thing I saw was just... But you're still alive. Thanks, Tilly. Just kept kind of hugging. <laughs> I should have stayed below deck. That was so stupid. <laughs> you, you did help, though. By the way, in case if anyone's curious for how broken D&D 5e's CRs are, Harpy Matriarch is a CR5 monster. Mm -hmm. I mean, to be fair, ghouls are a CR1, like, but they can still fuck a party up real good. At least if they're fought at CR1. If you have, if you don't have necessarily a decent gun, that paralysis can still hit you. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> Kit is gonna in the moment of like I'm saved, she's gonna pull Lee in for a kiss because that was scary and holy shit. Thank you. <laughs> he is confused but does not but does not <laughs> And then she's just gonna go back downstairs to go back to cooking. <laughs> Alright then. <laughs> I'm gonna go cook again. Is anyone else dying? Does anyone else need a snack? I'm fine. Those harpies couldn't touch this pretty face. Meanwhile, Keta and Brimstone just have like club marks on the side of their heads. Wait, did Keta lose the ne uh, her necklace? No. In the fall? Okay. No. No. I'm not that mean. <laughs> That would have been like the first thing she checked after the guitar. I was like, oh shit, oh shit. Yeah, you're fine. I could go for a snack after that attack. Alright, I'll go make snacks. Alright, so gonna just move things along here. Rest of the mm -hmm. day goes by uneventfully. Uh, in fact, it is so uneventful that even the next day is not eventful. Keta would have slept it at least a bit longer because, ow, everything still hurts. <laughs> ow, my bones. Yeah. She fell from, uh, like, 30 feet in the air, crashing into water. Yeah, your bones are a little uncomfortable right now. She cannot stay on boats. <laughs> oh, she's I'm very <laughs> land-bound. <laughs> Alright, so... Just does, along. Sorry. Over these days, mm -hmm. then, does fail to make any progress on fixing this doggy? Yeah, with with uh, Flare's help, you do actually make some progress on fixing the doggy. Da, da Vinci would also take some time to go down and kind of check up on what's going on down there. Specifically with the dog? Or, or just in general? Yeah. yeah. Was that to the just in general or to the dog? To the dog. The... The dog. Okay. Yeah, you're able to go down there, and you see that Flair is currently hard at work, uh, basically removing two of its legs and taking two that you'd broken, and just being like, "This would probably work," and just sticking them on to the the one that's still alive. <laughs> I, yeah. I just figured he just like pops it off, and then just heats it up really hot, and then just. Basically welded it together with just his body heat. Well, he has like a little flame coming out of the tip of his fingers, but yeah. I mean, yeah, but still, considering <laughs> considering who his parent is. Yeah. 
So yeah, you see him currently fixing the dog. Have relatively working limbs now. It's also not tied up at all, which is concerning. Uh, just look at Failsy. Are you able to get it to behave? Is it still... Am I still under the, the rhyming effect? This would be the second day, so no. Uh, yeah. He seems to be pretty... He seems to respond well to this. She says, holding her little cog medallion, medallion thing. Anytime you hold it out, it, like, slightly tries to move towards it to, like, bite at it. I still don't know if I should let it have it. Um... I'm not sure. Are you able to issue commands to it? Well, I can make him not attack. And I wanted to get him to fix before I started testing him out on... You know, whether or not he can actually do anything. That's fair. He got flattened by the cannon. Oh, during the Kingfisher attack. Yeah. <clears throat> Just do kind of a close inspection of the dog. Yes, the dog. It's rather interesting to take a look at him when he's not trying to bite someone's face off. Yeah, it is pretty surprising to see them in a non-aggressive mode. <laughs> Alright. Other than that, though, there has not been much changes in its attitude other than it constantly wants to try to get towards that gear. And otherwise, it's just docile. I wonder... I wonder if that gear is what made that first spider so big. You reckon if I give it to him, he'll grow really, really big and we can ride him? If he doesn't try to eat us after growing big. Yes, that would put a damper on, on that idea. Oh, Flair. Yes? If you have a bit of time, I've got some... some components that... could be turned into some tools for... for use. Do uh, you mind it? Uh, can I ask a favor and uh, have you take a look at them? I can certainly try. Uh, with them, I could probably get back to working on some of the jewels we found. Of course, though we will be at port here soon. Yep. Yeah. Uh, speaking of which, I should probably get back up deck. Yes. Alright then. I can certainly take a look. Yeah, Da Vinci is gonna leave the the tool the golden metal tools that just need a bit of reshaping to be proper useful tools. Yeah. You see and this is something you've also been noticing for a little while. Uh, Failsy while watching Flair work. Flair seems familiar with this material. Like, he doesn't seem have it, having any issues working with it. Have you done this kind of work before? Um, yes. I've actually seen this metal before. It's pretty rare in the in Tezvarel, but... Sometimes they extract it from the hell mouth. We refer to it simply as primum. Primum. It's a very interesting material. It's 
so you can know he's calling it. Primum. So what you're saying is very expensive tool set. Oh, yes, oh, the yeah, animals are made expensive and it's very enchantable. And he's referring to the gold, right? Yes, this this material that looks like gold but is as hard as steel. Actually, it's even harder than steel. It's about as hard as adamantine. Hmm. You know, we took some pieces of that kind of porcelain armor and got all these pieces of spider bot and and wolf. Wonder if we could possibly repurpose a good number of them. Yes. The porcelain itself seems a abnormal. It is in fact porcelain, but it has some some other elements mixed in. I'm actually wondering if perhaps it has ground up primum mixed into its actual porcelain. This is far harder harder than it should be. Wondering if it can't be refashioned into maybe some armor. Mm, you would have to find some very specifically shaped pieces, my friend. Porcelain is not something easy to reshape once it has been formed. So, where is Prime Common? We find maybe... ...the pounds of it a year extracting it from the Hellmouth. I guess the only place it would be common would be on that island. Okay, so there's no other places that they could have taken the Prime to that, to that island. No, we've... This material does not seem to occur naturally in this world. Hmm. Hmm. What do you see? Well, it is interesting. I wonder if some of these pieces could be used to make a blade. Or a few. Potentially. We will see. Well, we got a lot of time on the road. We can we can explore these possibilities. Yes. We would need a proper forge to make something with this, though. Primum cannot be forged or reforged unless it is made very hot. Hotter than what you can make it? No, but hotter than what I can safely make it on a ship or near any civilized folk. Yeah, that would have to wait till we get to land. We're talking like 5,000 degrees here, at least. Yeah, so basically Def take definitely flare. wait till we get to land. Take Flair to a volcano and make him silly. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yes, make him. <laughs> the That's, I'm assuming that Flair's not wanting to come So on. what I'm hearing is... We I have a attach that if... a portable forge to the caravan. <laughs> I, I have a feeling if you tried to make Flair do anything, he'd just incinerate you. Or just say no. Well, well, I, I, well make implies force. <laughs> you could try to grab Flair. That would be a bad idea, though. Well, j j just in any case, just no, I'm not going to do that. No, you're going to do it. No, I'm not. <laughs> Try it again. I did. <laughs> or, uh, I guess more accurately for Flair. You don't want this. <laughs> yeah, anyways. Yeah, but anyways. yes, moving on, because we don't have that much time left. I'm sorry. <sighs> oh, no worries. Well, I better get back up and keep us... Keep the good winds flowing. At this point, you guys would actually be getting close enough to seaport. Yes. Land ho! Yeah. Given more Morgan's proclivity for staying on the deck and actually being watchful for things, she'd probably be the first one to see land. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm making things! Well, a thing. 
Yeah, would you finish converting that into a sniper rifle now? Sweet. I'm just making food. Cat is making biscuits. Morgan's just a people person, and helping the deckhands out, you know, fits with the whole extrovert personality. Fair enough. Hey, I'm not denying it, I'm just saying you're the only one doing it. To be, honest, I couldn't th to be honest, I couldn't think of anything else Morgon could do, so help out with the deckhands! Yeah. Yeah, not everyone's gotta be like a crafty person. This is fair. Yeah, so, you do know this land. And there is actually a proper port just ahead of you guys. Is it the same one we left? No, you're on a completely different part of the continent. Alright. Well, I'm just Yeah, I'm just saying. Previously, you left from Hornport. You mm -hmm. are now living. This would be Port I. Like the body part. Quiet murmur downstairs. Mm -hmm. I wonder if this place has a bakery. <laughs> uh, you would actually notice something rather interesting, though. Mm -hmm. There is the other half of the castaway at this port. It's there. Oh, Joy. Yeah, I imagine you all come up on top deck whenever people start shouting, Lanto! Lanto! Oh, I wonder... Ugh. I hope everyone's okay. Alright, I'm going to switch over our ambiance. Hmm. Wait, that's Test Girl Zombians. That would not work here. <laughs> Rentia would just kind of look at, uh, uh, I'm trying to remember her name. Treble? Treba. 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 I was confused hmm. for a second. It was like, who's Treble? Treba and Elby. Yeah. <sighs> we made it. And making good time, too. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I got distracted because I was putting... I was getting music ready. Like, <laughs> That's yeah. just Trevor's response. Yeah. Yes. I guess I'll just stick with the wet riffs because I don't have music for this port. Ready. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you think? I'm not fucking blocking. <laughs> yes, it would seem that we are getting close. And good, and good time, too. Thank you for your help. Oh, you're welcome. I, w I don't mind doing a dance. Fair, but dancing consistently for almost three days. That's impressive. I admit, uh, I, I think I need a bath... Uh, and a comfy bed when we get back to port. We all need a bath. We all smell. No, you only smell like salt. It's fine. <clears throat> yeah, bats are salt and other things. And as we're getting close enough to port, can Kenta kind of at least try to strain to look to see how many people she, uh, like how many people are around the cat? other half of the castaway, like, if there's anybody, like, milling about there. Yeah, there's a lot of, like, what almost basically amounts to construction workers going on and off the ship, because it is needing to be, needing to have repairs made. <laughs> yeah. Like, for obvious reasons. <clears throat> it's also currently run up onto the port. It's dry docked. Yeah. Or less dry docked and more... Oh, more around. Okay, I guess. so like a cruise ship. Yeah. Could Keta possibly just quick roll a perception check to see if there is a white half orc milling about? Sure, go ahead. All right. <laughs> Eight. Sorry. Is anyone helping her, or was she just on the side lonesome? It, she wouldn't be still... Actually, Lee would be helping you because he'd also want to find him. Yeah. <laughs> she wasn't 
saying it quite out loud because she didn't want to try to get Lee's hopes up. It's less getting his hopes up and more he'd already be looking himself. So yeah. Yeah. So the so, check of twenty three. Um let me see. He survived. Uh, you would actually see a white orc who currently has both of his arms in a sling, just directing people. Shake Lee's arm. I see him. I see you too! Shakes <laughs> Keta. So Shakes Keta picks up and runs. Keta by the shoulders, shakes her, says goodbye, and jumps over the side of the ship. <laughs> <gasps> oh, oh, he's so cute. Lee going into the distance. <laughs> That's it, uh, Again, swimming like a fish. Lee has advantage on athletics checks made to swim. She, she understands, you know, he, he wants to go, so she's not good. She's happy for him. It's actually kind of alarming how fast he's going away from you guys, but you're, he's making good time. Meanwhile, your ship comes into port. LV brings it into the port without even so much as a scratch against the wood. And she's like right mm. against the planks. I mean, it makes sense. She's just piling a much larger ship. <laughs> this woman knows what she's doing. Yeah. Lower you guys are able, for the first time in a while, walk back into civilized lands. Oh, it feels so nice to be back. And uh, only a few moments after you guys get off the ship, you see Lee walking back with a doubly slinged arm gone. <laughs> you lived! Way, soaked from head to toe. <laughs> Oh, good to see you made it, Gond. Bye. Oh. I'm surprised that I did it myself. Don Beast broke both my arms. Well, yeah. arms can heal. Well, this will take a bit more on our just that it will take uh, healing. I told He's you to come with us. Ketchup punches Dorincha in the stomach. <laughs> what? <laughs> Roll what me a two prompted? hit. What prompted that? It's more of the... He he was trying to go down with his ship. You, you know, you don't have yeah. to bring it up. Uh, so, so it wasn't necessarily to deal damage. It's more like the elbow to the ribs. Yeah. So it's like the so dude. Roll me a two hit. Not expecting it, she has advantage, you know that, right? Eleven. Yeah, so misses. <laughs> That's not a okay. Well, but, yeah. Well, what? I don't know what it would be. <laughs> it, it, it would. I guess technically it's a strength check with proficiency because you're proficient in our arms attacks. Everybody is. So, yeah. A, thir so a thirteen 12. then. Yeah, it's yeah. Well, it would be a twelve because you wouldn't get the plus one. Yeah. But yeah. Mm. Semantics aside. Clutches you in the stomach, but it doesn't hurt at all. Yeah. More having Da Vinci dodge, dodge the elbow because he, he's already been elbowed a few times by her. Okay. Anyways, moving on. Yeah. I've got things to get to. <laughs> so how'd you all, how'd you all fare? Decent. We, Lee helped we, us survive. Uh, we ended up on Kingfisher's Island. Ugh. That's that's rough. I almost got pushed by a crab, <clears throat> and I got kidnapped by a spider with Lee. Wait. 
I we almost tell... found you. <laughs> we, we can tell you all the stories uh, ap- when we get a chance to have a sit down and drink with each other. How about it? Also, oh, yeah. uh, he looks at his arms. Yeah. <laughs> Sure. Yeah, might be kind of hard for him to drink, considering. Uh, just get the straw. <laughs> what? What is a straw? <laughs> nah, no, that's the fake the straw. Basically, just hollow <clears throat> tips of wood. Yeah. Wait, but... you have that fancy wine, green of wine. It's time to celebrate. It would be a good time to celebrate. We're off the island. But, going to long story short, we we end up on the Kingfisher's Island, and we're able to make it back here by the skin of our teeth. Th- thankfully, with, uh, with Lady Castaway in tow. Yeah, you see he actually turns as L.A.B. is being led off the ship now by Treva. She suffered some injuries and needs needs clerical attention. But there's still survivors back on on the island. They'll be trying to come back with the other half of the boat. They do have a they do have a escape plan, though. We didn't leave them bare empty-handed. We did leave them without their captain, so I hope you didn't. Well, their captain was injured and needed medical attention pronto, so we left him with Gaston, the other quartermaster. As well as the rest of the sisters. You see Gond visibly grimace. <laughs> see? Uh, he gets it. Yeah. Gaston, he's good at talking. I hope that crew makes it out all right, though. Well, they got the rest of the sisters, so they at least okay, have... They should be fine. Yeah. yeah. He's good at shooting things and talking to people. He's not good at steering a boat. Thankfully, the plan, the escape plan for them involves shooting things, so he's he's probably going to be good with that. Okay, yeah. When it comes to master gunners, he's a master among masters. <laughs> he narrows eyes. Gaston is incredibly good at shooting things. That is, I know, no, no, really good at. <laughs> I know that, but Brimstone, <laughs> Brimstone's still like. <laughs> It's good to hear that Elevi is alive, though. I aim to get her to Greenham, the capital, at least. I know a cleric she can, that can help her a lot better than I could. Mm. I'd be willing to bet there are places closer, but if you think that's for the best and she's agreed, then I can't stop you. From what I know of healing magic, to even have a semblance of yet having a chance to get her voice back, you need something very powerful. Indeed. Well, I don't want to keep you, but at least stay in port for the night. We'll... Uh, yeah, look. Yeah. I'm gonna go get a bath. The offer for drinks is still on, though. I'll take you up on that next time, but I have to speak to Ellaby first. Bit of unfortunate news. Certainly. It's about Jonathan. Yeah. Ketchup takes off the golden aria pin and kind of pins it to like one of his slings. You might need this to talk to her at least a bit. No, we have ways of communicating with each other without it is right. Can we at least ask, is he still around? We don't know. <sighs> taken by the, the... Knowing Jonathan, that could very well mean that he's still fighting it at this moment. 
Yeah. Not looking good. Hmm. Not everybody makes it out of war, so. You know, not war, but. Well. Still applies. Last thing we saw was Jonathan jumping on the beast's face. Hmm. Old son of a bitch, I'll get him out. Go find a bed house. I'll see you guys. In yeah. Okay. Cat will kind of just walk off and start uh, trying to look for stuff because she kind of just wants to be alone with her thoughts right now. Yeah. And good luck with that conversation. Uh, gone. Before you leave. Just a, just a uh,. I don't suppose you have a manifest on who's alive and dead? Or where we can find the other survivors? Well, if it hadn't been for Lee pulling me away from my work so suddenly, I would. Well, that's currently still with my assistant checking in the ship. So we should probably let the man go back to the work. Yeah. <laughs> what? So we'll leave. We'll leave you to it. I guess we can at least help get get the other people off and supplies off of, the, of our boat. Yeah. All right. Well, we more or less have one of the longhouse inns completely rented out here for the ship's crew. There's still rooms left over if you all want to make yourselves at home there. Well made good time on sea, so just kind of looks to the rest of the party. We'll see you there. Yep. Get yourself some rest, get yourself some food, though, with Lee with you, I'm sure you ate plenty well. Yeah. yeah. Boy's got a talent. He's got a few. Even if he doesn't give himself credit for them. Given what he's done, I think a bit more than what he knows. I don't know why, but I, I pictured, like, as Gon was saying that, <laughs> he just has, like, a giant, just, like, a ham in his hand. <laughs> no, he doesn't have a giant ham in his hand, but he does have, like, a big doofy smile on his face. It's just, yeah. Like, it's the smile of a child whose dad just complimented him. Yeah. Aww. I mean, Gon is basically his dad, so. More, more or less. Daddy gone. Adopted father. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> Considered father. Alright. Well, I'll see you all at the end tonight. And we'll do some debriefing. Oh, Dravencha, you want to save money and just say it, shower room? You're not spending any money. You have rooms. <laughs> but if you want a chair room anyway, I'm not. I'm up for it. Uh, at least for, at least for he's up a room for someone else that way. Fair enough. All right, Lee, little pup, get get going. Get. See, these, see these see these people to the end. I already told you where it was on the walk over here. All right, son, go play. Dad's busy. <laughs> More or less. Yeah. That is the relationship those two have. Yeah. Yeah, considering yeah, Gon just is sort of background. Not really. <laughs> I mean, kind of, yeah. <laughs> A good father son. Well, well, I mean, to be fair, his was probably with Redemption's. Redemption's dad probably filled that role. Yeah. Decently. Decent enough that Brimstone's not entirely maladjusted. <laughs> yeah. All right then. But anyways, that is probably where we will call it for the night. Okay. You All are right. heading to an inn, ready to be debriefed. And you're finally back in a city with shops and, like, civilization. And, and baths! Monsters. Yeah, Keta's first thing is, I want a bath. Fair enough. Yeah. The inn does have a full bathing facility. Yes. 
basically an inn made for people who just got off a boat and they know exactly what you want. <laughs> so, so it's more so Keto just kind of went to uh, the inn before everyone else. Give clean. Give. Well, let me take that, Liz. Do not give me that. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> but if that's where we're ending, does anybody have chill they want to do? Hello! <laughs> uh, hello, and Andy. Not a suit. This is not a normal stream, so chill you have to do a real. I almost died this stream, so I'm at least a bit more perky now. Um, so, Sunday, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You will finally find me again as Desire, the Tiefling Blood Hunter, who just recently uh, met her newest big bad uh, evil guy that she's gonna kick his ass 30 times over. His name's Norvis. Uh, here at twitch.tv forward slash Latvarian Citizen. Uh, we also have Kiersey, our Moon Elf Shaman, and soon enough we will have three new friends joining us. You have to tune in Sunday to find out who they are and what classes they may be. Uh, they're, That's they how... are nerds and their class is nerd. <laughs> Let's, <just> hope they... <laughs> Let's hope they meet Desire after the in hour where she's invisible. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you guys but... gotta have your first conversations with people while you're invisible. <laughs> That'd be great. Uh, but yeah, no, that's me! Alright. Armor, do you have anything? Um... I, okay, uh, are we on this week or not? Uh, I, if everything goes right, yes. It's basically yeah, all dependent on, on if Hawk can actually have access to the computer. We'll know tomorrow. Yeah, so yeah. things are a bit up in the air. It could either be this week, this Saturday, or it could be three weeks from now. Yeah. That's a that's a time frame. It's volatile. <laughs> Sometimes we'll play four times in a row. Sometimes we'll play once and four. Once a month. Yeah. Fair enough. The in this case, it's due to one of so, our players having to be family. international for reasons. Yeah. Yep. Due to familiar problems. But not our place to share. So that's all we'll say. Yep. So. So, we, <laughs> yeah, so we may be playing. Happens. We may be playing this Saturday, six p.m. EST, at Twitch.tv. The Lady Ori underscores them after each word. I'll do mine at the end. All right. Well, that's specific to me. So continue. Yeah, Mip said everything I wanted. Still don't exactly know what's going to be going on with the Tuesday game. Thinking about a couple of things that could fill the uh, streaming slot for the off weeks of what we do for our personal game, which is the Neo Terra that has been made into just a personal game. Yeah, we might, for next Tuesday, might just do a, another chill card stream, just for a placeholder in the time being. Thinking about a couple of things, just trying to figure out what people might want to do. I've got a lot of ideas stored in it blowing around this head. Oh boy. Yeah. When the DM has ideas, there's problems. <laughs> <laughs> Either for normal D and D or like new types of D and D. I've got like a Final Fantasy inspired style of D and D, and like a Pokemon inspired style of D and D. Like just floating about in this brainstem. Huh. Specifically Neat. the brainstem. <laughs> Specifically the stem. Yeah, where all of my motor functions are stored. Yes, the <laughs> the lizard brain. Yeah. So yeah, not entirely sure what will be done there, but still figuring it out, figuring who will play, who would want to play, and what they would want to then play. So we'll see. Yeah. Oh, to play, but my Tuesdays are kind of... Yeah, Actually, Tuesdays a bit. Tuesday is definitely a bit more up in the air day for most people. Yeah. Unless okay. it can somehow be finagled into my afternoon, which would be your either really late at night or mornings. Well, 
Probably not. We'll uh, all right. But uh, moving on down the line of people, uh, Failsy, do you have anything to shill or promote? Um, no, I'm good. All right, so myth. Go for it. So Monday is uh, two thirty p.m. EST, I believe. Is Shadows and Starlight on Ori's channel? I miss one session and everything goes to shit. That's how it goes. Yeah. So now we gotta go rescue. We gotta go rescue my husband, and Helgen was not very happy about that. Oh not god at damn all. it! Not at all. You miss one session, your husband gets kidnapped. Uh, yeah. And apparently, one of our players almost swallowed face cyanide. So yeah, it was great. It was great to find out. But same channel as the Stroud game, just a different time. You actually get to see that I'm not an Eldritch Abomination, at least as far as you, your weak human eyes can detect. He's actually a very handsome lad. <laughs> you stop talking. <laughs> Make me. <laughs> I mean, Eldritch Abominations can present any face they desire to. Yeah, that's true. You got me there. Anyway. Yeah, I mean, hell, you proved that with the last campaign that we did that you were DMing. <laughs> <laughs> he died. <laughs> oh, well, he did it twice then. There was, there was the benevolent one and the malevolent one. Yes, but anyways... And then for me, um, well, for tonight, we actually, this may not be the last you see of us tonight. We're going to take 10 minute break. The stream will end, but we're going to take a 10 minute break and decide if we want to come back live for some Cards Against Humanity. I might be in the call and talking to people, but I won't be able to play. Which is fair. It's just going to be like another chill card stream. But, um. Not for children, no. Yeah, no. Not Definitely not a children's card game. Potentially but it, on motorcycles, though. Damn it, you beat me to it! <laughs> <laughs> the actual purpose of this server is purely to play Cards Against Humanity with people. On motorcycles. D&D is a bonus. Mm. It just sort of came in after. Yeah, mm. but uh, anyway, after uh, we have... Uh, for next week, we should be hopefully same day and same time, which is Thursday at 7 p.m. EST, be meeting up to continue the adventure of this rascally crew. Yeah, it might be another short session, to be fair. I don't know if I have another overnight next week. I won't know until, like, Saturday. But Will Zon find out that his boy is growing up and may have a girlfriend? <laughs> Oh God! Look at Ketan. Just be like, he did all right. <laughs> oh, no, and that's not bad. we may not do anything about it tomorrow, but tomorrow's the one-year anniversary of Thursday Crew. Yes. Wow, that's surprising. It's yeah. it's been one year since Myth initially put out that call for one-shot players that started all of this. <laughs> nice. Well, it'll be it's one year tomorrow. Actually, isn't it? Is it the next week where it's one year, or is it the next? Is it two weeks from now where it's the? Uh, well, for one when you go Ash. one year for Ash, two weeks from now. But tomorrow is the one year for you, armored myself, and Myth. Yeah. Hello, I came in after and then stole the show. That's what <laughs> I do. You came in like yeah, yeah. I literally questions. stole the show. He, yeah. yeah, you could say he came in like a wrecking ball. Armored, I would Get throw out. a punch. Armored, I would throw a punch you. <laughs> I will climb up you like Kratos did to Kronos and throw a punch you. And he is dead. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> all joking and stuff aside. Honest to God, this has, like, been some of the best time I've had with you guys, so thank you for joining me every Thursday for all this goofiness. I got three best friends and a boyfriend. This is great. You would have never known that she, that she used to not like D&D. &D. Who, me? Yeah. Really? I started with 2.5. It wasn't the best way to start. 
points mm, five in spider farms. Yee. Yeah. Nice. Sounds I might revive my first ever character though for something. We'll just have to wait and see on that. Maybe for Pokemon, who knows? Eh, maybe. Or maybe a one shot. Who knows? Could do. But right. with that, I think that's where we're going to end this stream. Right. And right. we might see you guys in 10 to 15 minutes. And if not, we'll see y'all next week. I'm going to work. <laughs> yeah, have fun. Good luck. Don't die. I won't. Good night, everybody. We'll see y'all next week. Next Bye. week. Bye. Bye.